Hello everybody, it's me Pat the High Ruler and I'm here for another episode of Lego Harry Potter Years 5 to 7. I got it! Finally! I tried that intro like 30 times and I always messed it up. Oh boy. Well whatever, here we are. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, how are you guys doing today? I am pretty happy. Uh, not specifically because I'm playing this game, because that, well, doesn't make me happy, but I am more so happy uh, because I finally uh, got my uh, new hard drive uh, so I could fit my videos on it, actually. <laughs> uh, well, I got the hard drive like a week ago, but then I realized I had no SATA cable, so that was a bit of a problem. Uh, but yeah, now I've finally got everything set up and uh, all my files uh, moved around and stuff. So yeah, now I guess I've got a total of, uh, uh, I don't know, I think I've got like 4 terabytes of free space, uh, which is uh, definitely nice. And yeah, I should be able to fit my videos on the hard drive for quite some time now. Because yeah, for, for some time I was really running out of space, I had only like 300 gigabytes or something like that left. And like, well I guess that's not too little. Uh, it's uh, it, was a, it was a lot less than I would like to. Than I would have loved to have because uh, usually like even just one recording or like one recording of two episodes is uh, at least 30 gigabytes I think and then all my videos uh, that are like actually ready uh, they take up a little less space but uh, they still like I'm not sure what the average is I don't even check those too often uh, but I would guess like 10 to 30 gigabytes I'm not sure as I said I have well, am I stuck in here so yeah basically got a new hard drive got it finally set up uh, because the cables arrived yesterday, or wait, was it yesterday? Did the cables arrive yesterday? Okay, yeah, yeah, it was yesterday, because yesterday was Thursday. So yeah, finally got it all set up, so now I finally have some spare space for my videos, and well, whatever else I might need space for, but yeah, vid the videos are definitely the main thing that take up space. So yeah, that's, that's why I am happy specifically. I hope, whoa! Didn't we have Dumbledore before? I guess we didn't. That is awesome. Okay, but what is up with this blue pointer? That is supposed to be the Ravenclaw house crest, I'm guessing. So what's up with... Okay, screw you, Bellatrix. You're getting stuck everywhere. Uh, give me Hermione, actually. Wait. Do we have... Oh. Wait. Or, or no, this Dumbledore, this Dumbledore here is just provided with the level itself, isn't it? Like, you just have him here by default. Okay, where is Hermione? Uh... Hello? Ah, oh, here she is, come on. Maybe this is what's up with the Ravenclaw house crest. Could very well be. Okay, I seriously can't believe how many tries that intro took me. I, I seriously tried that like 30 times. Uh, 15 times of those I just I just said on uh, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on accident, or I started saying it. And yeah, that didn't go well. Okay, so it looks like this is indeed the Ravenclaw house crest. Is it just gonna pop up? Alright. Fish? Is the, does the fish bring it? Did it? Do you, what? Fish, come on. Give me the... Uh, okay. Well, there we go. There it is. I'm not sure what, what, what was up with those multiple ghosts there. Why did the fish have to come and go multiple times? Or whatever. As long as we got it, I'm I'm glad. Well, what is? What just happened there? Nothing happened. She's, Hermione shot some stuff, but she didn't hit anything, which is great. Of course. What's up with this water? I'm just stuck again, aren't I? They shouldn't... Oh, okay. I got out. Whew, that's good. Okay, can we finally... Or we can't break those, I guess. But what about this rock? What's up with this rock? Everything's weird. Okay, so let's just take a look around, I guess. Can we get up there somehow? Hello? Oh, I guess that's what this wall is for. Let's check it out. Come on. Is that a flashlight? Or no, maybe that's a torch. Is that a torch? Well, I guess flash flashlights are also called torches. But you know what I mean. The classic old school torch with actual fire in it. You know, like the one on the wall there. I'm pretty sure you know what I meant, but yeah. I thought I should clarify just in case. Okay, here we go. So we got rid of the spider. <laughs> we left the spider on fire. Well, that's great. Come on, climb up the ladder. Okay, whew. Got, got all the studs. It would have been really pathetic if I just missed like one. Wait, actually, maybe some fell down into the water. Whatever. At least we got all the ones we saw. And I am uh, satisfied enough with that. That I really don't think it's worth jumping down into the water again for it. Okay, come on Hermione, blast those things away. Okay, so it looks like these icicle things, which is what I'm guessing these blue things are, 
Uh, these blue cones. Doesn't look like these things are for- Wait, no, you can't use that! Wait, does Bellatrix know? Oh, okay, Bellatrix doesn't either. Well then, let's see. Who does then? Who do we have that- Snape shouldn't know, right? Let me test it, just in case. Yeah, no, no he doesn't. Okay, I guess it was worth checking. Well, Harry definitely does. Let's take a look, see what are the snakes saying? Okay, wow. Uh, they're giving us their really complicated password. Well, let's see what was so important that they had to hide it behind a whole password of that, like, that's just so special and sophisticated, I can't even believe it. Uh, you know, I can't even, don't even want to start to imagine what, what crazy secrets they were hiding. Okay, come on, let's build the, the black mark, I guess. Is that what it's called? Something like that. The dark mark, the black mark, I don't know, the same thing probably. Alright, so here we go. We have opened up an entrance to some place. What's going on here? Uh, looks like there's a blue... Is this for Gryffindor? Gryffindor? Okay, yeah, I guess that's it. So we need to follow the pointers, but we also need to keep in mind that we don't have uh, a tracker for uh, for student in peril. So we just keep our eyes open for any students that might be in peril. Maybe down there? No? Okay, well, yeah, that didn't look like a place where one would be anyway. But, you know, thought I'd check just in case. Hold on. What is this? Where are we going? Why is there water here? Isn't that where you come from? Like, where you came here from? What's up with that? Isn't, like, the water in place... Oh, wait, is that the island in the middle? Oh, yeah, I guess... Okay, I thought that, I thought that was, like, the outside. No, that's... Okay, now it makes sense. There we go. Don't worry. I'm not being stupid anymore. I'll probably do that again at some point, but right now, stopped it. No more. No more for now. We've taken a little break from being stupid. I think that's a pretty reasonable idea. Pretty, pretty good thing to do. So I pointed this out at the end of last and of the last episode of the previous episode of this series, but uh, I'm gonna point it out again uh, that the last. Oh no! Wait, I forgot. Wait, I didn't look at the pattern. Whatever. I think it's something like this. Oh, there we go. I guess I still saw it from the corner of my eye, uh, but yeah, as I pointed this out already, but uh, yeah, the first time we did this level, uh, during the story mode, I uh, I lost my game audio, so we had just, we, had, we just had me talking, and that was not great. Actually, hold on, when did we do this level? It was, it was almost a year ago, because I remember it was somewhere during spring, I think, or maybe late winter, probably spring though, so... Yeah, wow, I just, I just realized, wait, oh, we don't need to switch to Dudley, do we? We all have super strength, never mind then. But yeah, that's just an interesting thing to point out. And why I said uh, that I messed up, uh, like uh, two minutes ago, uh, was that I said at the end of the last episode that I should probably let all the cutscenes play out since we didn't have any audio uh, the first time we got through here. But never mind then, I guess we're, we're not doing that. It's not like anyone says anything in the cutscenes. They don't do that in these earlier LEGO games. What's up with these arrows? Is, are they like for the island area and we're just like supposed to... Wait, what? Okay, are they for the island area and we're just supposed to uh, see those at the island? Or, or, or what, what else could be going on? Hold on, okay, the red ones first. Let's take, you don't have to play this also specifically. All right, there we go, look at that. You can definitely see Voldemort making really difficult puzzles to enter his island. I mean, I can't even believe it. Okay, blue, red, yellow. Hold on, I, I actually want to still look into those arrows a little bit. Well, I mean, I'm not, I, I can't see anything to do here, so I guess we'll just continue. Wait, what was it? Blue, red, yellow, right? There we go. So I'm guessing one more, since there's four things, I, I would guess the last one would have them all be utilized, but they wouldn't go over the amount. That's how I, you know, just knowing this game, that's how I would think they'd do it. And we'll look at that. Here is the boat, which uh, doesn't really f fit like the whole theme of this cave, the whole aesthetic. Hey, look at that. <laughs> okay, wow. Yeah, I didn't even remember this. Maybe I didn't even notice it, because... Yeah, as I said, we didn't have any audio. I probably was, wasn't was paying too much attention to the cutscenes. But yeah, I love how Harry was like mad at Dumbledore, how he had to 
drive the thing. <laughs> okay, so what's going on here? What are we doing? I guess these were the white arrows that we needed. All right, let's see. We still need a few things. And I think this is the last section of the level. So I really hope we haven't missed anything then. What is this? What's up with that? Hello? Harry, you want to step on here? Okay. Oh, I guess that opens that up. Right. Well, there's at least one thing left uh, that uh, that we know we can get, which is these dark magic objects. But what could that be? Wait, what house crest do we have left? Now, that's Hufflepuff. So hold on, this can't be the house crest. This would have to be something else, I guess, a character? Is that what the white arrows mean? I would guess that's what they mean. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, we'll just grab this. So... Yeah, but since we ha oh, have a Hogwarts Crest Detector as well, then wouldn't this mean that there's a whole another area? Since there is no, like, there was no Hogwarts Crest Arrow that we missed. So there must be another area that comes up where we would see, like, yellow arrows for Hufflepuff, right? Am I mistaken? So I guess there is still hope in terms of finding a student in peril. Let's see, I don't know, maybe... Do we get to be at Hogwarts after this? Or, or do they count like some section where you fight these, um, whatever these guys were called, you know, the zombie guys who attack you? Uh, do they count that as like a whole separate area? No, I, I wouldn't think so. Yeah, I don't think they do. So, hmm. Do we need to switch into Dumbledore for this? No? You can't do it either? Okay, we do need Dumbledore then. Apparently! Harry, protect me! Come on. Do your thing. I don't think Dumbledore Young works. Either Dumbledore curse for the win. Get out of here. Get out of here. No. 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 Wait. Don't kill Harry. Hey. 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 Wait. Harry. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. That was not good. That was not a good idea. That was not a good idea at all. Okay. Dumbledore. Go drink this thing. Then we'll see what. Mm, well, this is a good position to spawn into. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. All right. Wait. Oh, we got one cup. Uh, we got one drinking done. Dumbledore! Hey! No! No! How do I save you? Hello? How do I save Dumbledore? Hey! No, well, okay, whatever. Harry- No, don't get yourself! Oh! Oh, well, never mind then. It's too late for Harry. Just go drink another fill. Come on, Dumbledore. Why do we spawn over here? I guess we just do. Accept it. So I guess we can't really save people once they're- in the hands of these zombie guys. Okay, Dumbledore. How do I save this thing? Get rid of this! Harry, help! Harry! Har oh, never mind then. I guess I just need to be really careful not to get caught by any of these guys. Okay, Dumbledore, can you do your thing and go ahead and drink it? Because you see, the problem is I have to switch to Dumbledore, I guess, too. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Harry, you get over here, Dumbledore. You get over here too. Harry, don't run to me. That's really stupid. Okay, come on. So now Dumbledore is going on ahead and drinking. And we need to keep everything safe. Okay, there we go. There we go. No! 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 No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Dumbledore, head over there. Harry, stay safe. Don't get captured because you need to be able to protect Dumbledore. Dumbledore, go drink. Okay, this is like the most intense this game has ever gotten, really. <laughs> Well, okay, yeah, get over there, get over there! Okay, I don't really remember having to make this much of an effort, which re really isn't too much of an effort, but, but still, more than I remember it being, I don't remember ever having to worry about accomplishing anything in this game. I remember everything just basically coming automatically! Dumbledore, get up there! Harry, get up there! Dumbledore, get up there! Start drinking! Harry, get over here! Protect these guys! You know, just even the fact that we need to speed, uh, speed switch between these guys makes it more intense than what I'm used to. Okay. You know what, I'll just skip the cutscene. So let's see, where do we show up? There's no way. Okay, yes, we are. There is a section at Hogwarts, and this looks like quite the fitting pace, place where, for a student to be in peril, rather than a secret cave where no one has been into, yeah, if, except for Voldemort. And I guess those muggle ki kids he killed? Or what? With something with muggle kids, I think. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, this definitely looks like a place for a student in peril to be in peril in. It's at Hogwarts, and it's a, ter it's a bad situation for everybody here. Okay, which way do we go then? To the right? To the left? 
Do we even have Aguamenti when we're here the first time? Bellatrix, help me a little bit! Come on. Don't be such a lazy, lazy Bellatrix. Okay, hold on. We don't want to head over there, do we? Do we? And what's up with this? This is a... Oh, wait. Deluminator. Okay. Where could we find a Deluminator? Let's take a look around. Let's take a little peek. And then there's also a strength thing. Okay. So is that another character? I'm not sure because there's the pointer pointing to the strength. Hello? Now what about this? What does this do? Do we... Are we supposed to be here right now? Or are we supposed to head over there and fight Bellatrix? Like, I'm, I'm afraid that that will, like, end the game. End the level, I mean. And then I'd have to do everything over again from the beginning. But I kind of doubt it. I mean, right? Right? I really hope so. Okay, yeah, okay. Whew, they disappeared. Alright, I am really happy now. And this is the thing we need for the pump. Okay, good, or whatever. Maybe this is the pump. I don't know. You know the water thing over there? I don't know what to call it, but that this is what we need for that to actually work. Couldn't you just use magic once again? Why does the thing we filled up with Aguamenti work and not just actual Aguamenti? Why is that like that? Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, well, there's a student in peril. Look at that. Hey, that hurt. That hurt. Okay, get out of here. I'm gonna shoot. Whoa. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here! Leave that student alone in his peril. Uh, wait, no, that doesn't work. That doesn't make sense. Are you gonna give me money? I thought students in peril gave you money. No, that's not it. Okay, well, where is the deluminator? Let me just take a look around before I head over to Snape and Bellatrix. Okay, well, it's not over there. It's I couldn't see anything. I'll just take a look back then. Wait, no, is that that's a deluminator, isn't it? Okay, good thing I didn't wait no. We don't need to be Harry for that. You can't do that with Harry. Run. Are you the version that has Yep. You do have the deluminator. Okay. So let's just bring it over here. And illuminate this thing, whatever this is. Hello? It's just a thing with oh. okay. Ah, there we go. Why couldn't we have just used Lumos? It doesn't make sense. These are the exact kinds of plants we could just use Lumos on, but I said, well, okay, now I guess it just doesn't work for some reason. Great. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so now I'm gonna head over there, and as Ron, not as Harry, because I'm afraid, like, that probably doesn't matter, but just in case being Harry actually makes you... Oh, no. So, uh, just in case being Harry actually makes you have to fight these guys, but yeah, I don't think that matters. I think you just have to choose whether or not to fight them. Okay, come on. Pull this thing open. So we got the student in peril, which means this is probably the last thing we have to do in the level. We got a Hagrid, a vet, a wedding, I can't speak, a wedding version. Okay, I guess now we're gonna, oh, you can walk, oh, okay, that's good. I was afraid that I, like, wasn't allowed to walk in the, in the circle here. Because, I, oh, wait, I thought he would switch away from his spell. Whatever! Apparently, I'm not good at these battles. But yeah, I was afraid, I, like, the battle would trigger if I just walk into the circle. But apparently, that is not the case. So, yeah, there was no point in me. There was no need for me to be so careful. But I, I mean, I guess it didn't, can, didn't really hurt either. Except for the point, except for where, like, it literally did hurt. And Ron died from the fire trying to stay away from the circle. But yeah. What if I pressed A uh, an accident? You know, that could have been bad. Oh, well, I guess there's a safeguard in place with Bellatrix. Oh, wait, no, we don't have to fire Bell Bellatrix. So there is no safeguard. Okay, so let's just skip the cutscene, I guess. There we go. The level should be 100% complete. Things went pretty well. If I do say so myself, I did a pretty good job, I think. Right? No? Okay, let's see. We got Professor Dumbledore. And we got Tom Riddle. Ooh, okay, that is interesting. And then, of course, we got Hagrid in his vetting version, which is how I'm saying saying the word from now on because it's so stupid. Uh, okay, I know it said wedding. I don't know why I said it like that. Wrong, but I did, and now it's a joke apparently. So here we go. Got a bunch of stuff. Should be the level. Okay, we'll just skip that. Should be the level 100% complete because, well, you know, these are all the collectibles in the level. Makes sense. Okay, we got a couple of gold bricks. Wow, yeah, we really don't have a lot of stuff left to do in this game. But it's still quite enough for a bunch more uh, uh, episodes. 
But yeah, with all that being said, I guess I'll thank you guys for watching. I'll just do one more check for, yep, okay. That level is also once again, 100% complete. And this means year six is also 100% complete. So now all we have left are the two parts of year seven. So yeah, I guess next time we'll get started with that. But for now, as I already said, I'm gonna be saying goodbye to you. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Comment, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.